So, I just got my hair from Y Wigs. I'm so excited. So, this is my package from Y Wigs. Oh, so excited. I have four bundles of the 18 inch water wave. As you can see, it's the bulk hair. So, this is how much comes in a bundle. The hair feels good. I'm a weirdo, I like to smell my hair. No, I don't know. It's, I'm, I know I'm, I'm weird. Anybody else likes to smell hair? Okay, don't judge me. And look at this. Oh, I'm so ready to do my hair. I'm so ready. I can't get started until like, I don't know. I probably can't get started until tonight sometime. But like, look. This is going to be too cute. This is 18 inches. I didn't want it, I didn't want it to be like super, super long. But I wanted like, oh, I'm so excited. What else is in here? Is that it? Is that all that came in here? Also came with one little alligator clip. Four bundles and this alligator clip is what came inside of my package. Next, I'm gonna part my hair. So I finally got a three-way mirror so it was easier for me to part. Again, I wanted to make my parts as straight as I could. I'm not a super stickler if my parts are super perfect just because I feel like nobody need to be in my head like that no way especially if I'm doing it myself but the mirror does make it easier for me to make them look a little more uniform so what I do is I start from ear to ear and I go across and make that front section part and then I go back and meet, meet the back section to match the front section and because I have a thin spot in the middle of my head, I was very particular about not parting behind my ear, but more like in the middle of my ear. That way I could kind of camouflage that thin piece right along the middle. And I guess you probably see that later on as I'm like braiding the hair. And then from there, I just went through and did a horizontal parts towards the back of my head. And I ended up having about maybe eight rolls across the front of my head. In total, it took me about an hour to fully part my head from start to finish. And like I said, I was being extra careful. This is what the front section looks like. I went ahead and pre-braided them. As you can see, like right there in the middle, how I have that kind of split section to cover up uh, the ball spot, as you can see right here. So I'm gonna split that into three braids instead of the traditional two that that area would actually take just a little look fuller. And now it's time to match the back braids to the front braids. And I start with that first part that's right above my ear. And from there, I do the back sections and pre-section them all out. I would say that these are like medium size partings, not really big, but not really small. And I ended up with quite a lot of rows. So this is what it looks like with the ha first half of my head done. I just wanted to come in and show y'all me doing the very, very top of my head. Um, just so you can see. And at this point I've used one bundle of hair. So I wanted to slow this part down to show you all how I start my braids. Now normally people feed the men, but in, 
I like to take two pieces um, and put them together because as you can see the pieces at the top of them have this little like straight piece so I mold the two straight pieces together to make one like long piece as if it was regular braiding hair and I use a little bit of product to kind of get them to stick together and then I go in and I braid it in as if it is regular braiding hair so I do end up with a little bit of a knot at the root but it's not like a thick knot because of how thin the part of the hair is that I use and then as you can see I have three pieces and one is my natural hair so then I take another little thin piece and feed it in making sure that the curly piece meets up with my natural hair and then from there I just continue to braid down doing the traditional boho style taking a little piece and then separating it from the rest of the braid and keep braiding down so it's really easy especially with the Y wig hair because it has that straighter piece and you're able to just feed it in and keep going I can't tell you how many pieces I fed in probably around five or six in the braids around the front and then I always do a little bit less in the braids behind the back and then at the end you have nothing but the curly pieces left any piece that might have a little of that straight I just cut it out as I seal the braid down so you see that straight piece I just kind of keep adding um, making sure that it will end up being as curly as possible at the very ends if you want a more detailed tutorial on how I feed the hair into the braids and you can check out this video where I did this style but with synthetic hair so it's essentially the same thing but at the end of the human hair I seal it with some nail glue because you can't just knot off human hair it'll slip right out so you just seal it with a little drop of nail glue and roll it around your fingers and that's literally it that is what the braid looks like you go through cut off any of those little straight stragglies that try to stick out and we're done all right let's keep going and by this point i was just getting into the second bundle so i did that whole like front half almost of my head with one bundle and what you see here is me putting a little bit of product right on the straight pieces so that i'm able to pull it apart a little more easily and have a little bit more control um i got this tip from another youtuber i'll have to leave her video up here in the um box as well in the info box but she showed me that tip and i was like oh that's so cool now in the front like i said i did uh do the method as if i had um like a regular piece of braiding hair like with knots but in the back i actually did go full knotless i was still practicing that technique i didn't have it down so i didn't want to show y'all that because like it wasn't perfect yet it took me a minute to kind of get my fingers to do it but i have to come back and show y'all when i do this style again how i do it fully knotless um and it's actually easier to do with the human hair maybe because it's like softer and I have extremely fine hair so I could use smaller pieces and do it but yeah anyway I'm just gonna let y'all keep watching me braid it on down baby for upkeep for this style it really did not take much all I used was a little water with some leave-in and some mousse if I really wanted to revive the curls this hair is so soft it's just like having bundles in your head and that's why I used so many strands because I really wanted this to feel more like a sew-in than braids and I think I achieved that look and this is like now my new favorite style I promise you And this is what the front section looks like. I'm able to part it all over. Ah, oh, so full, so pretty. I'm in love. I absolutely love the human hair. Why wigs hair is amazing, and it was so soft. And I wore these braids for six weeks, so well worth the investment. This is a quick snippet of my Go Without Blue course. Join this course if you are a woman suffering from alopecia so that you can learn how to choose, install, and maintain a medical wig. And for a limited time, I have a special promo code, enter promo code intro to receive $50 off of this course. You do not want to miss it. Make sure you head on over to www.bssu.com and join my course today. To everyone.
everyone else don't forget to follow me on all socials links in the d-box i'll see y'all in the next video peace